In the last episode, we arrived in this kind of desolate wasteland. So, uh, someone tell me why we didn't just sail back to Rome and let's play the Settlers 2. So, okay, we've set up some uh, things here. We've set up the basic economy with quarries, foresters, woodcutters, and so on. And we also built a wheat farm here. Or rather, a farm. With that in place, we might as well try to see where we can expand towards. So just to see where I have my notes. Should be somewhere around here. Good. Okay. So I don't think we'll get to fish in those, so I'll not even bother trying. This might be fishable. But something tells me there may not be anything worthwhile in it. So... But also ra rather preserve space, at least to a degree. Is that mineable here? I don't think it is. So I'd probably be able to squeeze another farm in this section here. Not that it seems too fertile. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I'm not sure if that was the amount of space preservation I would have preferred to go with, but maybe this place won't be uh, housing a farm anytime soon. Let's also get going with some... Back there. Let's also get going with some farming. When we are producing planks and... Um, let's put a salmon over here. Second one, there we go. We are making planks and stones now, so it should be fine. We should be slowly, uh, well, at least we should not run out of uh, construction materials anytime soon. So that should work in our favor. We can now safely start building things. Did we decide, or think so? No, we didn't think far enough to bring any donkeys with us. Great. I'm not sure if I'd want to drink any water that actually uh, has been <laughs> pumped out of the ground here, because this is usually very sulfuric. Oh, the area around volcanoes is generally very sulfuric. So the smell and taste of the water might be pretty damn atrocious. Although, who am I to judge, right? <coughs> Is a well in here. Also, let's let's hit V, so things are sped up a small bit. There are times when you don't want to do that, but in this case, I think we can safely speed the game up a, a fair bit because why the hell would we not? There seems to be a lot of space over in this direction, so we'll probably want to build a barracks over here. That's one there. I'd also like to expand in this direction, but I'll probably wait for the uh, trees to be gone for that. I'm kind of wondering what we're going to fight in this scenario, because I don't think this is going to be a uh, pacifist scenario. We don't have to fight anything to get to the portal. We want to get some farming then as soon as possible. We also want to get access to mountains. I'm not sure what mountain tiles will look like in this uh, particular tile set. Because I would suppose it's mostly like a different tile set. Probably some different enemies, but yeah. My guess is this is basically a different tile set and the rest of the rules remains the same. So maybe those count as mountains. I don't think that's a mountain area. I think this place here will be the military production. Although, of course, that would mostly depend on where the actual... Um, where the mountains are. Well, the next things I would... I mean, I could also try to put a donkey farm over here. 
because I want those pack meals to be rolling out right away. Although, of course, we need a we need a well for that too. Let's not let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves. We have stuff to figure out. Speaking of stuff, what's the mission objective? Keep looking for the gateway. There is limited space for buildings. Carefully consider how to exploit your resources. Well, great. I mean, this doesn't seem to be the amount of stones I that warrants careful consideration where to spend it. That's an awful lot of them. But how very, very nice of him to tell me that if I go out of my way to look at the scenario objectives rather than just letting me know right off the bat in the actual scenario description. Like the one that uh, guy who's... whatever was... Is that my journal? No. Um, yeah, the uh, actual thing that guy who's whatever was... Um, gives you. Oh well, let's just... Just look for the gateway and keep expanding. I suppose we do want to be quick about this. I still think regular farms are one of your most vital buildings, so we we'll probably want to consider the uh, placement of those very carefully because we need them. You need them for beer, you need them for. Um, for what? Ha! <laughs> I need them for beer, you need them for. Okay, this is kind of a waste. So farming space it is. I need them for beer, I need them for bread, you need them for... That's pretty much it, but you need bread, you need lots of it. I don't think I can squeeze this entire shape into this section here, although I might be able to. If I built it here... Then went like this. So circle that. Do another one. Flag it. Circle that. And go one circle. Well, a bit of a circle. Two, then up. And over and up, and over and then where the rocks are. So we'll cancel that uh, construction for, for the moment. We need to have this bit of rock removed. So in case I decide to build something in this area, do remind me that this is kind of reserved for farming. Probably not want to pay you. Did we bring coins? We did not even bring coins. Isn't that lovely? Okay, I think this warrants another farm. Can we squeeze it in here? Let's see. One, two, three. This and that. 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 Right, you have to flag this uh, one section there. Totally forgot. So there, 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 there. Flag. Here and there. And then. Two, three, five, six. One more down and flag. Okay, so those are mountains, which means we'll probably want a watchtower here. And then go up around like this, which is really convoluted, but I guess it's the only way to do it. Put a flag there. 
somebody call me a geologist? Please don't call me a geologist, don't, don't say I am one, I wouldn't call myself a geologist. Although I did have a bit of geology. It's not really worth mentioning though. Like, it was mostly not actual geology, it was more... Um, I think it's called paleology, which is uh, knowledge of the soil, not the, the rocks. Although, of course, part of that is geology, but we only had like one lecture on that. It was not actually geology, it was more ge geochemistry, so yeah, it's, it's weird. There's a lot of stuff happening in the ground. This looks magmatic, so I probably don't want to go there, but we can set a scout. So, scout. Off you go, have fun. Uh, scout. Okay. I'd prefer that you would cut it to go down there. So I kind of want to get rid of this. Uh, let's, let's just get rid of it. Um, do I really want to get rid of it? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, is this place getting paid? Please don't. Disable the flag mode. Okay. I think it's really a smart idea actually to, to put this this thing in. You found something, you found water under the road. Oh, geologist. I was actually off considering to live stream this as well. But then again, I, des I decided against it for no apparent reason. I really don't know why. <laughs> I think because I kind of want to get some episodes going before I completely move towards streaming. Which is nothing unnecessarily planned to, but it may end up happening. Just saves me to have have to upload all this stuff later on. Although, funnily enough, the people who actually watch the uh, series or, and who comment on the series never seem to watch the streams. Or at least, well, I only stream Settlers once, so... <laughs> but, but still, they, they never seem to watch the streams. Okay, we found iron, that's lovely. Scout down there. Uh, now I wish I could prioritize like this bit of rocks here. Because that would be a third farm. Or a third highly efficient farm. There is nothing wrong with that, is there now? Also, we have no more ways to make more soldiers. And we have 27 recruits. So we do seem to leave a lot of stuff behind when we move to Rome. Which I guess makes sense because many of the people who we seem to have, or who seem to join us in our adventures, we really never have seen Rome. I mean, we're making helpers from thin air, so I suppose they are born in this um, foreign land. Or oh, probably wouldn't want to be born in this place. Um, so yep, they, they don't know Rome, so they might as well stay behind and live a peaceful life, I guess. There's nothing wrong with that. It just strikes me as yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> Although they haven't been gone for that long. I don't know how long uh, the last diary entry said we've been out here or we've been lost. But I suppose it's fine. I suppose we'll find it out sooner or later. I don't want to build a flag there. But I suppose this mountain here also has kind of a resource-worthy purpose. How many farmers do I have? No scythes. Look, we have seven farmers, so I suppose we may or may not need a tool maker. Or a metal works as it's called. I think we can safely pour all our resources into... Although we might need some more miners. Where's mining? Stonemasons. Where's the mining? Oh, there. Eight miners. 
I think we may very well forego the metalworks this game and uh, when the scenario and completely move towards militarization. We build that a bit quicker. Yeah, absolutely zero tools. Also no iron, I think we only have some beer. Which I really think means we should totally go with um, full on military. And this may be coal or gold. I don't want to build a mine on there just just yet because I don't know what's going to be here. Let's just build a flag here, link it up, and call in the geologist. This guy's working at uh, peak efficiency. I mean, that's probably the benefit of such a terrain. It's It seems to be magmatic, so it, it may be of volcanic origin. Which means it's very rich in uh, minerals and nutrients that your plants would benefit from. Oh, that's a huge amount of rocks. Okay, could you unpay that? Yeah, just, just hammer there. Just hammer that. Get a flag down here. We may tear those down later on. Okay, so that's the coal place. We certainly want to dig a coal mine there. Which now means we'll also have to build something else. We need to get a food industry going right away. We'll start with a windmill. I hope won't interfere with this uh, field over here, but I think it won't. We should be fine. You go for that, please. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm half tempted to actually con uh, completely move to streaming those uh, strategy games. Mostly because they, they do warrant actually streaming them rather than just uploading videos. So would that be a thing you'd watch? Just leave a comment below, as usual. Okay, we also have to look for water now. Preferably in this general direction. You there, find me a bit of water, please. Mind this bit here will be reserved for farming, so we can't do much with that. But we'll do farming with that, so that's quite not much, but we, we probably want to steal it back with using this for anything else. Can I get another geologist here? Shoo! Sure. we found more iron. So I think if I place the mine over here, it would do very well. We even have coal right next to it. How lovely. Now all we need is gold. And I will be very, very happy with this area. Can I get a woodcutter here? Yes, I can. So let's do that. And then just link it up to here. We'll replace that with a military building as those trees are depleted. I'm not sure how far this stretches. Yeah, this seems like a prime location for a coal mine. I'm hoping roads don't actually interfere with coal mines too much. Probably squeeze another coal mine over here. Although I'm hesitant to do that bef because I don't know if that one here will reach this. Oh. Okay. 
Once we free this area here of trees, we'll probably also have to look into getting... Um, there's water right here. It's perfect. I want a well. I don't think we need to break this road up even further because there's not going to be all that much being transported. Water found, water found, water found, coal found, and then no more letters. Okay. Big building place. Except that one because I do think we'll want to build something military. Uh, also, some military building down here. Probably right there. Uh, get a guard house going. Okay, considering this is going to, or this is possibly going to be. Actually, no, we'll try to build a way around this, like. There somewhere. Maybe even like there. Or around here, who knows? Who knows? I'm still open to everything. How many woodcutters do I have? We have 12 woodcutters, that's perfect. That's more than enough. It's more than I know what to do with, honestly. I want to assign with a bit of a higher priority to being hauled, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I've not saved for 30 minutes, but there is nothing worth saving right now. I mean, we've, we've done a bit, we've gone and expanded the colony a bit. Is that a colony by now? We're not, we're not technically a colony of Rome, are we? We don't even know where we are, and we're not, we're not connected to Rome in any way, shape, or form, at least not directly. We're still looking for the place. And I think at this point, when, when you end up in a magmatic, foreign-looking area, I think it's at this point that you should probably abandon the idea that all of those gateways will eventually lead you to Rome. Then again, since there is apparently no way back, I guess that's the best way you, or the best thing you can go by. Do we have any food? We have a bit of food. I would hope for a bit of a bigger space somewhere here where we could make beer and um, beer and weapons, so we'd get some sodas going. Or maybe down here. I'm not really picky in that regard. I just want some space. I think we could technically burn this one down. Do I really want to? <laughs> Do I really want to burn this down? I don't know. There's a mill. I would want to get a bakery up as soon as possible as well. Since this is a guardhouse, I I guess I could fit the bakery right over here. Uh, bakery. We do have a well. It's quite far away, but I think we'll be okay with that. Let's still connect this up. Like so. And this is a bit of a uh, road we probably want to break up a bit. So, something here. And something here, and something here. So we actually also use some helpers now. Although I still think you really can't run out of those. Unless you really go crazy with the roads, you probably can't run out of helpers at any given time. Okay, let's get rid of this woodcutter here, because I think he is more interested in uh, keeping our forester busy. Which is fine, but uh, not quite what we want him to do. So replace him with something more military-like.
Okay, let's try to expand down here and get the ironworks down there. How many geologists do I have? We have... Oh, where did they go? We have three left, so I suppose we have four in total. Which means I need to be careful what I do with them. Could be a well placed over here. Also try to build a... Uh, Also, wait with that. I mean, if those rocks are removed, we'll probably have a at least one big space here, which means I could squeeze a donkey farm in there. So we put a well over here, and uh, that farm and that well might supply a donkey farm over here, or a pig farm, or both. We'll never know. I want to span through this entire uh, mountain range here. In the hopes that we'll find either more gold or more... Well, gold in general. Or more other valuable resources. There's nothing over here, but we might still find gold somewhere. Since we currently have no way of leveling up our troops, that would certainly not go amiss. Almost finished. There we go. It's not like we're going to pay any soldiers at the moment. I mean, why would we? But it's still nice to have this down just in case you do find gold and uh, <laughs> now you have to deal with all the soldiers in the. Uh, central area of your co of your, I guess city would be the right term. Although we have we don't actually house anyone here. I, mean, I guess people live in their workplaces, which is perfectly fine. And you have this massive place where hundreds of people are crammed in. I don't even want to know how they live in there. Oh well, I think overall I think we're doing okay. Soldier. Okay, then there is not actually that much. But there seems to be open space over here. I don't do that. I kind of prefer guard houses. Flag over here, and then road to there. And to geologize that. Okay, we kind of know that. Okay, so those mines are going to be our main iron source. I mean, they, they look kind of iron rich. Reddish, brownish colors are generally uh, very often iron minerals, at least if they're very abundant. You have a good chance in Zion. Because iron is generally very abundant in the Earth's crust. Although I suppose the higher end um, deposits are, of course, a bit rarer. Iron also brings all sorts of other minerals with it, which is kind of cool. Of other um, elements with it. I'll try to avoid getting into that. It's it's quite a co uh, complicated topic, and uh, while I find it interesting, not everybody else might. How far out can we stretch this? Let's pull this flag down. Okay, guardhouse and street. Shoo-hoo, we found the granite. And water. Lovely. Now, the granite I'm not too thrilled about because we currently 
don't have any uh, stone shortage inbound, at least not assuming all of this can be mined. Although with how rich the stone fields are, I, I would suppose something bad is going to happen there. Can I have a scout? I mean, this entire place creeps me out. Also, this this lovely uh, lonely tree there looks suspicious because it's it looks different than all the other trees. And in this case, this may or may not be a sign that something is going to be uh, afoot there. So we may be in for something uh, unpleasant or very pleasant, who knows? Do we have a ship ride? We have no ships and we have no ship ride. Which I would suppose probably means that, well, it, first of all, it, it means Eric, the ship ride from the last one, was it Eric? I did apparently not want to come through the portal. And secondly, it of course means that we probably don't need ships in here. I think I maintained it last time, but I'll repeat, I'll, I'll reiterate now. Um, I think it's weird. If you give us a concept and it kind of adds to the game, then you take it away the next scenario. Okay, so maybe this forest is not necessarily special. <laughs> it doesn't look that special anymore. Because I well, this tree looked special, but now that we've found six, seven others of it so of the same look, it doesn't look that special anymore. I could build a granite mine here, but I don't want to. Okay, so there's a bit of a lot of mountain going around here. Is this also diggable or mineable? suppose it's not. We are making bread. What are we doing on what? Fine. Ah, uh, not that menu. This menu. Kind of would have the game menu and all the... Uh, like, you know, like the... the Kind of out of game menu, which tells you or which lets you save and work with your save games and stuff, and your in game menus in the same place. Well, I wanted to do the distribution of goods. I can't know everybody to be at least half full. Although that's currently meaningless because. We'll just keep the bakery supplied anyway. Okay, I'm looking on iron. We could at least uh, fill one iron smelt completely. Question is, where can we squeeze one? I guess this could do. I don't know if we can fish there. This looks big and watery, so let's try it. Let's build a fishery here. Only one. And we'll try to keep flags close to that. I'm hoping this won't mess up the road. Actually, no. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, we'll not build anything in this area until we have this farm down. Okay, military has been occupied. There is a black stripe on there. Which means that there may be somebody in that area. I was kind of afraid of that, so we're probably sharing the same... Um, we're sharing the same stones there. This place has not quite it's clear, so we'll not pay this one. Okay, there is iron in here. Still no traces of gold though. Which does get me ring, because we have found the enemy, but we have not found any uh, gold. 
This might be home to gold. That's maybe where the gold lives. Okay, what's in this area? Find me something. Oh, come on, go further there. Maybe this also serves as kind of a deterrent for the enemy. Something blue stuck in there. Oh, that's, that's our um, water stone. Okay. Um, Guardhouse. Wood cutter down here. Can you build it around. Can't. We'll link it up to that then. Can't do that either. We'll connect it to here. No. Okay, fine. Don't build a wood cutter here then. Forget about that. Forget I mentioned it. Um, build it over here. I guess that'll do. Also, while we're on the subject of that, get me a geologist. Probably want to exterminate those trees as well. I guess you can cut them down. So, no, no guardhouse there. I wanted a woodcutter down here. Try to preserve some of that building space. So, and I think now we'll place some uh, underwater. Perfect. So we'll put some water in here. A well, rather, Not just some water. that and then this will be the I guess the donkey farm I'd also like to connect that up to there for the sake of having more roads so we'll breed donkeys over here Then we'll need more farms. Although at least there seems to be plenty of space down here as well. Although it's dangerously close to a potential borderline. Can I get another scout? Okay. Now this here could become a pig farm. Some something I'm kinda tempted to do. Uh, get me my geologist. So I tried to build a pig farm and a butcher butchery here, and then we'll also try to squeeze in the uh, buildings necessary to build a... Well, to, to use the iron we've been mining from here. I would at least hope there is some gold somewhere here. Let's also build a quarry. There. Yeah, fine, build it connected to that. I'm hoping this works out space wise. Still haven't removed this, much to my dismay. This was the donkey breeder, right? Here. So we'll soon have an upgraded road network, at least I hope it's gonna be soon. What are we doing flower wise? We are, I think we're holding the uh, level we're currently at, so that's fine. From a 
build that before I completely forget it was there. So we'll build it, but we'll not link it to any networks. So as I said, we have plenty of stones and I don't think it's going to be worth wasting any food. Okay, we have met humans of much stranger appearance than our Viking shipwright. They call themselves Sons of Nippon. They are short and thin, but obviously skilled and tenacious. The strangest feature is their skin color. It's yellow ochre and their eyes are just small slits. They act in a friendly manner, although they are unsettling to behold because of their strange appearance. I don't think this is how Japan looks, but I uh, guess if you, want to, if you want to say it like that, then go ahead. Also, where exactly are they? I don't see any of them just yet. Oh, over there. We, we've seen their border markers. And yeah, I was I seem to be right. This seems to be like the uh, thing that stops us from seeing each other. Because we kind of have to clear that first before we get anything else done. I guess we can build a watchtower here. This will hopefully not clear too much of my uh, val precious, valuable building space, damn it. Uh, can we connect this? Let's actually go along the mountain. And then let's just connect there. Flag here with the geologist. We are not saved for 60 minutes, that's fine. So we've met the Japanese apparently, and we have not done too much else. We've built more colonies. And we have made friends with the Japanese, so at least they are not angry at us right away. Although, why could they? We have plenty of stones separating us. It is quite literally the Great Wall, which is not in Japan. But you get my point. And I will break the episode here. There is water to be found there, unsurprisingly. Could you perhaps probe somewhere I can actually build, my friend? Probably not here, because I don't want to waste those spaces. First, let's build the pig farm I've been wanting here. Get another geologist, please. Do you stop trying that there? It's not a problem with the building, it's a problem with the road spacing. Okay, now we need an iron smelter. We need an armory. Uh, brewery, mint, armory. which will be just next door from this melter. And we also need a slaughterhouse, which will probably go somewhere around here. Okay, iron mine. Put that over here, I guess. I'll put it right here. And we'll occupy that. Time to build another coal mine here just to get everything fueled, although we currently... I think we'll be okay. A more definite problem might be food. Okay, 
that. Yeah, I'm building a military building here. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have needed to squ uh, to squish a um, guardhouse in there. <sighs> yeah, there's certainly something this way. You seem to have removed all the trees in your vicinity. Not all of them, but at least some of them. Barracks would do in this direction. Get somebody to survey this area here. <coughs> Probably want to build another woodcutter down here for the time being. This will do nicely. This is pretty much why I built the second sawmill here. Or up, up there somewhere. Now we want a quarry. Do I want another quarry in here? I'm not entirely sure. I think two will do just fine for now. I, mean, I don't want to exploit this all too soon because it might just be... Uh, well, the thing with portals, or oh, with opening passageways, is they open both ways, so... While it's there, we won't have anyone claiming those resources for, for themselves. So we can do this, we can do that for ourselves. I think there is... I'm just gonna assume that this place here will be fine for a well as well. We'll keep the pig farm supplied. You found coal. Where did you? Okay, there's even more coal over here. Good to know. I wonder what's in this direction. I believe every map is kind of circular, so uh, basically every map is like its, its own little planet. We don't need water over here. Yeah, we could not squeeze any uh, iron production over there. I think if we remove this woodcutter here, we might be able to put a mint over here. Which would be kind of pointless if we, uh, unless we had the uh, gold resources there as well. Which we have not found. Could we just uh, get a flag to here and then call someone out. Okay. How's our material storage looking? Now yeah, we're still wrecking up the uh, building materials, so we should be good for now. Ooh, has he removed things? Okay, one... Hexagon... Another one... There, there, this, and there. Wonderful. Please connect those up. That's the third farm we're having now. I built another pig breeder there. I don't know, I'll probably try to not... I know that... I think that thing can't be removed, so this will probably not house another farm. We'll see what can be done about that. Probably a brewery, though. Get a brewer here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We need the brewer next to the headquarters anyway. Let's just connect it up here. more water found. I don't care about that anymore. Those donkeys have also been delivered. Do we have any spares already? No, not yet. Now, I see. We'll still need some here and uh, there. 
But at least we're producing and we're getting the stuff upgraded. So things are working out. We're building a bit much here, so this is slightly delayed. Build a guardhouse over there. I really don't know if there is a, another enemy in this direction. Or if we'll just meet their main um, settlement there. I guess settlement is a very good word for this, considering the game is called The Settlers. Okay, so this mountain. Is that gold or granite? It's gold. Wonderful. Right in the place where I can't really squeeze a mint in, although I can probably put it over there. I should probably have put my um, armory closer to the headquarters as well, although it's, it's reasonably close. I think it's as good as it gets. So we have found gold. I wonder if all of those little mountains here can have gold mines in them. Is that guy producing anything? Okay. Get me a geologist. Probably break this route away. Or this road. And we'll build a gold mine there. Uh, we can connect it to that. So this place will be the mint. Mint, there it is. We need more coal now, I think. So I suppose a coal mine over here might not be a bad idea. But also want to have somebody look at the rest of the mountain there. There might be something else useful. Somewhere buried. Oh, seeing all those flags without donkeys next uh, on that bit of road does worry me, but we'll we we'll, we are on the we're working on it. We're fixing that. Okay, that has been occupied, gold has been found. Great. We link that up straight away, yes. So it seems like this bit here is not actually choppable, so we don't need that woodcutter. Or this bit of road. I guess that makes sense. I think this woodcutter can safely be removed as well. We'll have to hold with the road, though. We can't remove that just yet. farms. I believe we're short on wheat. Iron smelter is done. And it's getting stocked already, that's good to see. Very reassuring to see, in fact. We are now building up a water supply, which is fine. found. Lovely. Put that down. 
don't want to break that up into several bits. I don't think so. Not just yet. I wonder what's in here. I mean, the game doesn't really place any mountains without the, them having the purpose of being mineable. Let's get another watchtower right there. Try to keep as close to this area as possible. Okay. It is connected. Should be connected at least. If you didn't have to look there, you could look there or there. I have one gold mine in that, which is slightly worrying. I think one gold mine is not going to quite cut it. Though, of course, this gold mine should be able to use the entire mountain, so we may or may not be good. Anyway, we're almost at an hour, so I think I'm going to call the episode here. And next time we'll see if we can get a glance at the Japanese buildings and their overall architecture. To say though that, uh, not sure how it's in this one, but in Settlers 3 I know that the Japanese had a lot of emphasis on using wood for their structures as opposed to the Romans, which were kind of the middle of the road. And yet the Egyptians, not the Nubians, which were using uh, mostly stones for their building. So um, yeah, all of those were kind of different. Many mechanics were basically the same. A lot of messages. Building occupied, water found, co found. Okay, can we build a quarry over here? We can indeed. Looks more like a place for a fishing hut. We'll build a quarry first. Build the fishing hut over here. Can we connect that? Yes, we can. That. Uh, what the hell is that? No, don't, don't do that, please. That is hideous. Can you connect that? Yes. That's much better. Yippee! Yippee is more iron. Great. And more granite. Don't really need that, but I guess it's okay. Short on coal. Could you get a move on there, please? Also, apparently the pig farm is in uh, a dire need of water, because it's not. It's actually more in need of uh, wheat. Well, it's fine that that's not producing just yet, because we also don't have a butchery just yet. Uh, let me fix that with this. Um, mint, butchery, brewery... Where'd my butchery go? Brewery, mint, armory... Ah, slaughterhouse. Okay, so things are going along reasonably nice. We are arming up, and I think this is totally a good time to end that episode, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!